The Gunners do not want to furlough staff following criticism of Tottenham and Liverpool, but they are yet to settle on a salary compromise. Arsenal have been unable to strike a deal with their players over potential wage cuts or deferrals. With the coronavirus pandemic having seen all football suspended in the country for the past four weeks and the game still some way off a return, top flight clubs are suffering from a major cash flow problems. With no match day income and threats from rights holders over rebates from their multi-million broadcast contracts, football is suffering from an unprecedented financial crisis, with some clubs having already turned to the government for help. Tottenham, who recently announced profits for the year covering 2018-19's £68.6 million, $85.3 million, have furloughed non-playing staff, a move which will see the government cover 80% of their salaries. The decision has come in for fierce criticism, with most believing the government scheme should only be used to help smaller businesses which are in danger of going under. Newcastle and Norwich are also taking advantage of the scheme, while Liverpool announced they would be following Tottenham's lead and furloughing non-playing staff, only to reverse the decision in the face of huge public criticism. Arsenal have so far committed to paying their match day and non-match day staff until the end of April, when that position will be reviewed. The North London club are desperate to avoid the sort of backlash that greeted the decisions taken by Tottenham and Liverpool and are doing all they can to find a way around potentially having to place any of their workers on furlough, and so club executives have been locked in talks with players to try and find a solution, with the club's wage bill, believed to be in the region of £230 million a year, a massive drain on resources the longer football remains suspended several options have been discussed with The Telegraph reporting that one offer, which would have seen players not have to take a pay cut should they qualify for the Champions League, rejected out of hand. Given the Gunners currently sit ninth in the Premier League table, that is hardly a surprise and sources at Arsenal insist that talks are continuing in search of a solution aimed at ensuring no one will have to be placed on furlough. Premier League players have been advised by the Professional Footballers Association not to accept proposed cuts should they be offered by clubs. The PFA has instead told players they should only take wage deferrals during the current crisis, with West Ham and Southampton already having agreed deferral deals with their players. Let's block ads. Why?